We're talking management strategies and cattle herds with our extension beef specialist, Paul Beck. So Paul, you recently had some information um, that you put out about calf shrink. So first off, let's start off, what is calf shrink? Well, shrink is just the weight lost anytime you remove cattle from feed or from pasture and, and catch a weight or go through the marketing channels. It's a uh, very important consideration when we're marketing cattle because we're trying to maximize our pay weight, the, the weight that we're getting paid on, so we want to minimize shrink, but the, the buyer, is his desire is to minimize the shrink he experiences from the time he purchases that calf until he gets it to his home location where it's the feedlot or the receiving facility. You know, the, the management of, of shrink is important because, you know, a lot of our feedlots use that as a measurement of what health cattle may have. If they have excessive shrink from the time they buy those cattle to the time they receive them, uh, that's whenever they, they start looking at doing some dramatic interventions as far as health-wise uh, because excessive shrink, excessive haul distances and those kind of things are, are tied to bovine respiratory disease. Um, but whenever we're looking at cattle coming off from wheat pasture, uh, cool season annuals or, or like uh, annual ryegrass or uh, even beef cows coming off from cool season uh, grasses growing up in our pastures now. You know, we can experience a lot of shrink just removing the, them because of the diet quality. It's very high in moisture, very low in fiber, and uh, high in protein, and that passage rate of those forages goes through them really quick. So let's, let's kind of dive right in. What are some practices that producers can take to manage that shrink? So a lot of producers um, try to, over, you know, will try to manage shrink by feeding them excessively, and, and that gets into another problem where they have excessively full or, or tanked cattle is what they call them in the, in the uh, sale barns. And, you know, there's a, a, a large discount for cattle that will be over full whenever they go through the sale ring because they're going to have a lot of shrink after the fact. What we found uh, in the 90s, we did some research here at Oklahoma State where we pulled cattle off from wheat pasture and gave them access to a medium quality hay for 24 hours and then had some other cattle we pulled directly off from wheat pasture. We loaded those cattle into trailers and drove them around for four hours and within that four hours, the cattle that were coming directly off from wheat pasture uh, lost about one and a third percent of their body weight per hour. So about 5% shrink in that short period of time just in that haul. The cattle we put on hay, you know, their shrink was down there about 1%. So less than 4% uh, loss in that time. So it slowed down, you know, that rate of loss. One of the other aspects of that research we did is uh, when we pulled cattle off from wheat pasture, we drove them uh, by foot up and down the road for a, a, a mile uh, and a half. And, and we didn't move them fast. We kept them at a walking pace. They had lost about 5% of their body weight in that time. Um, but whenever we pulled cattle directly from wheat pasture and kept all those cattle up for 24 hours, they all lost about 8% of their body weight. So if we can manage when we gather cattle to gather them gently, uh, don't try to drive them fast and, and keep those distances we're gathering them from to a shorter distance, we can minimize the amount of shrink and then not make them stand around for, for 24 or, or more hours before we ship them. You know, the drought conditions in the state, we talked to Dave Lawman earlier in the show about it. Um, so this is just something that's gonna be really important for producers to keep an eye on. It's an important consideration every year, but this year as we're culling cows earlier in the, in the season when they are coming off from this washy grass with a high moisture content, cows will shrink too. So, you know, we can minimize the effect of, of shrink loss when we sell or cull cows uh, in the same way as we would treat a stalker calf. Alrighty, thanks Paul. Paul Beck, Extension Beef Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like a link to some information he talked about, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.